for it, doctors. I'm ready. Cut me up. <laughs> if you have asymmetrical eyebrows, they're completely uneven, this video is for you. I found this informative YouTube video by Beauty Slush and we're going to try our best to follow it. I've seen so many brow artists use this. I've always wanted to try it. First step is finding the inner corner of the eye and marking a line like that and repeating it on the other side. <laughs> Found this little ruler eyebrow thing, marking where that center is. Cool. Now we're gonna mark this line. Cool. On this side only, we find one third and we make a mark. We're gonna draw another line. And this new line is where our eyebrow should start. One third in. You could also get crazy and use one of these measuring tools. Find that distance and then divide it by three. But you can also use a straight edge and line up the top of the bulb of your nostril and that should be where your eyebrow begins too. We actually don't need those outer lines at all. And then we find where the beginning of our eyebrow starts to go along that angle. And then the top, this is showing the thickness. Mark the middle of your lip. Cute. Then for the arch, we're gonna go from the middle of the lip to the outside of our pupil, the black part of our eye. Okay, that one was a little harder to do. For the tail, we take the middle of the lip and the corner of the eye right there. Like that, I hope. <laughs> I think this is preference because if you wanted to go a little bit lower, that's okay too. The higher this tail is, the more lift you have in that outer corner. My tail has gotten a little thick, let's be honest. So maybe this is what I just needed to do. To find the bottom of the arch, we're gonna softly draw a line from this point to this point. This point should always be higher than that point. What we don't want is a straight line from dot to dot. We wanna just softly curve with the brow. Now, where is the bottom of our tail? Ideally, it's gonna be lower than this point, so not way up here and not below the bottom point, this one, or else it's gonna bring down the eye and make it look visually smaller. So looking straight and I'm drawing that line, not a straight line, but a curved and natural one. So that's, that's freaking me out a little bit. You know what though? This one is already showing that it's a lifting, so it's like drooping down. You know, I'm not as scared. Then we're supposed to draw a parallel line to this line, so the same thickness all the way through, and then marking our dot on that line. You guessed it, now we're gonna do a parallel line down to the tip. It's looking so good. Here you can see that this dot is the lowest, this one is in the middle, and that is the highest dot. We have this brow done, now we just need to copy and paste it to the other side. To find our first point on this brow, we're gonna take our string again and mark it like that. Hopefully that's level. So here's our first dot, and repeat to the top. I've always had trouble growing hair on that side. I don't know. We need to figure out the distance between that dot and that dot. I do have one of these measuring tools, so I'm going to measure the exact distance and I'm going to place it on that side. Just by eyeballing it, I think it's a little too high. We're going to take our string, we're going to connect it to that white dot on the right and keep it parallel with the two lines in the center. Like that. Oh, I did it a little too high. But even so, you can see that the white dot is higher than this line and this one's lower. I'm gonna take that one off and then remeasure it one more time. Are they even? Close enough, I hope. To get the tail the same, we're gonna take the measurement from this dot to that dot. We're gonna mark it brown. Now we found the vertical line where the point needs to be, but we need to find the right level to match. Now we're gonna connect the tail to the arch and cross through the middle line like that and we're going to cross that point on the middle of our forehead go through the arch straight down wow that was not that hard and here's our third point oh my gosh and then to find this inner arch we're going to take the measurement from the top of our arch to our drawn out line not like this but like this flip it to the other side mark it so this line is equal to this line so we have to come in just a little bit there we can double check that by taking this measurement, making sure it lines up to that measurement. Getting rid of that one, and gently tracing with white to match the other eyebrow. Oh my gosh, it looks like I'm going into surgery for a brow lift. This is giving me a game plan. I know what hair to remove, and now we're actually gonna make it happen. I'm gonna tweeze off my brows. Starting with these brow hairs, they have been bugging me so much. I will only use my tweezerman tweezers. I'm literally about to tweeze off all those hairs. Oh my gosh. You could go in with a razor and just shave it off, but I want all the control I can get, so I'm gonna use my tweezers. Did I really just do that? <laughs> I am really trying to just trust the process. <laughs> and I'm basically tweezing everything outside the white line. A few of you told me I would look better with straight brows because of the way my face is shaped. You know what? A lot of times you guys are right. <laughs> and I definitely like how it's lifting my face more. Now I'm gonna move on to this one. I've been dying to get these. Oh my gosh. Of course, the ones in the middle. Oh my gosh. He's looking cute. Obviously, I need to style them and fill them in. I know that I need more help right here in the front. Are you kidding me? I've never been this symmetrical. <laughs> definitely took me a while, but it's worth it. Now, all I have to do is maintain the shape. I think it definitely opened up my eye area and gave me a lift. Thanks for watching this series.